and father we're praying for everyone in this service that you please you show us your plan for the future no one will miss you Amen. in this service i'm asking that as the word of god has been thought grant me authorities grant, the, grant me authorities grant me agility of mind so that i can flow with the spirit of god and present your thoughts in the most practical and effective way to your people through the teaching of the word of god let people come into a deeper place in christ Amen. through the teaching of the word of god let people have encounters with god Amen. in jesus mighty name we've heard holiday i'm ready for the word of god today so this month we will be talking about the codes and laws of success the codes or laws of success glory to god hallelujah amen let's turn our bibles to numbers chapter 13 numbers chapter 13 numbers chapter 13 numbers chapter 13 verse 30 the bible says and caleb still the people before moses and said let us go over at once and possess it possess the land for we are well able to overcome it and the men that went with him said this we be not able to go against the people for they are stronger than we the bible says in verse 32 and they brought an evil report of the land so question why is it an evil report watch this now an evil report is any report that is against what god says i never said an evil report is a report that is not true an evil report is a report that is against what god says so the truth is that the people they saw were stronger than them and because they were stronger than them they put a negative report it's true that by your age you cannot raise the money but the evil report is to now say you will not be able to raise the money the reason why is that despite your age jehovah is still your god hallelujah it's true that people say that if i don't help you you will not succeed but the bible says that with god all things are possible so a negative an evil report is a report that is against what god said say with me say an evil report is a report that is against what god said okay glory to god so we got that an evil report is a report that is against what god said the bible says this and the land which we've gone to search is the land that ate up the inhabitants thereof and the people we saw in it are men of great stature verse 33 and when we saw the giants the sons of anak which come of the giants now take note of this he said we were in our own sight as grasshoppers and so were we in their what in their sight he said we were in our own sight as grasshoppers and so were we in their sight the first thing i want to talk about you know so as we talk about the law of success this is what i wanted to see one of the biggest power one of the biggest thing is your identity he said we were in our own sight as what grasshoppers so were we in their sight question do you see yourself as a success or a failure the reason why is that exactly the way you see yourself is how others see you so some people always say i'm a hustler i never say i'm a hustler the reason why is that god did not call me a hustler what god called me is a success I want to stay with it so he says and you know i just want to say what god calls me it's my identity and let me tell you something no matter what someone calls you the most important thing is what to call yourself and what you call yourself will determine what people call you a lot of you need to wear big brand to make you feel successful you need to get to a point in your life that no matter the brand you are wearing you are the one that makes the brand glory to god let me tell you the trick when you see things like gucci rolex louis vuitton give me another brand fendi all this brand they are not selling clothes or this watch what they are selling is confidence 
The reason why is that I was trying to, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what I was listening to online. Maybe it was the iPhone or what, some kind of wristwatch. And they said that thing was sold for $10,000 thereabout. But the production cost is $100. So what is the difference? They put their logo on it. The reason why is that if you don't have the logo, you don't feel a certain way. So they put their logo on it. So when you buy, so they put their logo on it. And when they put their logo on it, the logo gives you that kind of confidence. So the truth is that you're not buying a product. And that's why the way they design their brand, it's not to actually sell you like a product. They design their brand to inspire confidence. So all of a sudden, once you wear a Gucci belt, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to kind of bring it out, no matter what you're wearing, and say, hey, I'm wearing a Gucci Because it's meant to prep your confidence. But the thing is that your confidence cannot be in a label. Your confidence needs to be in you. It should be in you. It should be in what God has said about you. Have you not seen some people when they drive their G-Wagon or they drive their Range Rover, there's a way they, you know, then when they come down, they seem like nobody. They always want to have a discussion close to their car because they derive some kind of confidence from what? From their car. In fact, the easiest way to tell someone for them is to drive in their car and drive to where the girl or the guy is and say, hello. I says, where are you going to? Because they don't, without their car, they don't have their natural confidence. Their confidence is dependent on the car. And unfortunately, their identity is linked to a thing. The Bible says this, and look at what the Bible says. The Bible says, in our own sight, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. The question today is this, and this is a very powerful question. How do you see yourself? Why is your identity important? The reason why your identity is important. Number one, your identity determines your standard. Number two, your identity determines your behavior. Freedom, come. Hey, come. Just come. And I love you, right? You know, I love you, right? Yeah. No, we can't hear you. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. No, you can just look at everybody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you're handsome. Thank God. Thank God. And, and you're a child of God. Definitely. Definitely. How, 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 how is the year going for you? Yeah, we're all in. We're all in. We're on it, yeah. We're on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're on it. What, what, what do you, what, how do you view this year? What's going to happen this year? Yeah. Well, we have to take it all, man. You have to take it all. Yeah, real life. What, what do you think about relationships? Uh, I've had bad experiences, uh, but I'm still hopeful, yeah. You're still hopeful? Yeah. Definitely. What do you think about God? I love God, man. You love God? Yeah. That's great. Excel. Thank you. Oh, go come. You are sitting beside him. Come. Come. I want to. I want to show you. I say identity determines behavior standard. Did, did, have you met him before? Do you know him? No, you don't know him. What do you think he does for a living? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe. Trying to get in the entertainment industry. You're correct. How? This identity. You, you know, the reason why is that he's a singer. His identity, just like, you know, oh, oh, oh. You know, it's identity. Question Was that how he was born? No. But as soon as he took an identity, he began to behave like that identity. When your identity is that I'm struggling, then you begin to manifest struggling behavior. Then people that don't know you see you as someone that struggles. So when there are things that can help you, they say we can't give him that because he's a hustler. When your identity is saying that I'm, you know, that I'm a success, and you begin to now do things that shows you even dress like it. 
Praise God. Remember, he has never met him before, but from how do you know it was the entertainment industry? Just the way he looked. Just the way he looked. And the way he looked is built on his identity. Question What identity do you have? Thank you. Praise God. This is your identity. And let me tell you, identity is not that I want to be like this. It's who you are. You, 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 over time, you've told yourself that. Let me give another point of identity. Have you seen girls that are tomboys when they were younger and they've changed? When they were younger, most of the time, those girls would just walk anyhow and behave anyhow. And you hear their brother, their sister, their mom say, stop it, you are a girl. Stop it, you are a girl. What are they saying? What they're saying that your behavior is not consistent with your identity. So they're saying, behave like your identity. Behave like your identity. And over time, those girls now do what? They, they step up and they begin to behave like their identity. Your identity is very important. What is your identity? It's who you say, I am something. Why is it important? Because who you say you are is who you become. Then who you say you are is what people see. So the question is this, who do you say you are? The Israelites say, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. He says, and so we became in their sight. The question is, that, who do you say I am? Because who you say you are is who you become. And that's what people will see. So if you say yourself, if your identity is that I'm weak, I'm, no, I'm a nobody, then people see you as a nobody. If your identity is that nobody is that I'm helpless, people see you as helpless. If you identity is that I'm overwhelmed, people see you as overwhelmed. The question is that what do you see? Glory to God. I said glory to God. So I said the first thing is that your identity determines your standard. So for example, look at how he dressed. He had a turag on, has, you know, a chain, like big chain, you know, and when he's talking, like one hand is in the pocket because that thing is consistent with the identity of what he does. You know what? If you don't have the identity of a success, you will not find yourself manifesting the traits, the character of success consistently. You will be acting, but that's not who you are. Many people are acting, but it's not their identity. What's going to act on identity? Acting is that you enter into a mode and demonstrate, but that's not who you are. If you are really, I, you know, if you really have the identity, you don't have to act. It is who you are. I'll give an example. When people are acting, you will see them um, <laughs> there was a joke many years ago. A lady, uh, um, a lady went to, it was a University of Lagos, Unilag people, praise God. A lady went to buy pure water. And she got there and said, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am, can I have water in a sachet? The lady that was saying the water did not understand. Well, he says, excuse me, ma'am, can I put on a sachet? Like, ah. he says, excuse me, ma'am, can I put on a sachet? Eventually, as she was talking, someone came, I think, snatched her phone. And she just said, yeah, I mean, ouch. <laughs> she said, yeah, I mean, ouch. Why the woman that was doing the what an essential sent interpreter. So I'll snatch her phone. Yeah, I mean out. Question. Yeah is who she is. I mean out is is what? Is who she's trying to be. She has not yet become out because if she comes out, out will come out automatically. The question is this: you can tell yourself I'm rich, I'm prosperous. When life presses you, what comes out? You now say, let's be honest, I may suffer. <laughs> ah, see, all this one you go to church, you say, I may hustle, let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. The, the reason why is that you can say anything, you can claim you are anything until life presses you. Pressure makes substance come out. Pressure makes substance come out. So, it's inside you. But what's going to bring it out is substance. So, your true identity comes out when there's pressure. 
your true identity comes out when there's pressure. Glory to God. So what is your identity? And the first thing is this. The, the most important thing is, what do you call yourself? How do you see yourself? So my identity determines my perception, my standards. Glory to God. I said glory to God. What does God call me? They told me to the 28 verse 13. They told me to the 28 verse 13. Glory to God. They told me to the 28 verse 13. Ooh, glory. Are you there? Let's read together. I want to go. I want to ask you, who knows me more, myself or God? Who knows the iPhone more? The iPhone maker or the iPhone? The creator always knows more than the creature. And God says to you that you are the head and not the tail. Is that how you see yourself? Mm-hmm. Possibly some people see themselves that way. But I want to ask you, if you see yourself as the head, why do you go for small deals? The reason why is that because in your identity, I don't see myself as a head. So I go for deals that are my size because that is what's my identity. He says this, for the Lord shall make you the head. I want to ask you, where you work, have you thought that one day you become the MD there? It's not just thought. Are you walking towards it? The reason why it doesn't move flash your mind is because it doesn't occur to you that the Lord has made you the head. He said, for the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. Then he says, this is very powerful. Oh my God. Oh, Rabbi Sombrodi and Bruce Kepa. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, the Lord shall make me the head and not the tail. I'm not moving between headship and tailship. I've chosen one place. I'm the head. That means in real estate, I'm the head. That means in IT, I'm the head. That means in school, I'm the head. That means in my family, I'm the head. It doesn't matter what they call me, I am the head. Are you? Do you believe this? If I start a business in the quarter, I'm the head. If I start a business in Lucky One, I'm the head. If I'm in the mall, I'm the head. If I'm into entertainment, I'm the head. Why? I am the head. Is that how you see yourself? Guess what? The moment you see yourself that way, then like him, you begin to behave that way. You begin to talk that way. Most of you are trying to talk and behave in that way, but you don't see yourself that way. So you are acting. You don't have an identity yet. Say, I'm the head. Say, I'm the head, not the tail. Say, I am the head, not the tail. I am above only, not beneath. I believe it. I I believe it. I believe it. That I'm the head, not the tail. I I believe I'm the head, not the tail. I I believe I'm the head, not the tail. I believe I'm the head, not the tail. I believe I'm the head, not the tail. Oh, glory to God. I believe I'm the head, not the tail. In the bank, I'm the head, not the tail. In the family, I'm the head, not the tail. In my IT business, I'm the head, not the tail. In real estate, I'm the head, not the tail. In the medical space, I'm the head, not the tail. In entertainment, I'm the head, not the tail. Glory to God. In consulting, I'm the head, not the tail. Don't look at me on the floor. You'll not find me there. I'm only above. Someone says, ah, this year pool will suffer. You say, congratulations, I'm the head, not the tail. The reason why is that whatever they say does not change my identity. I'm the head, not the tail. No matter how this year turns out, I'm the head, not the tail. See, my success cannot be negotiated. I'm the head. The reason why is that God told me who I am. I know who I am. You can change my mind. Some people need to look successful, successful. I don't have to look successful. I am a success. Someone says, but if it's success, where are all the things I miss? You don't have a car, you don't have a house, you don't have this, you don't have this, you don't have this. Oh, let me explain to you. Have you seen a pregnant woman before that you don't know she's pregnant? The fact that you don't know she's pregnant doesn't make her not pregnant.
there are two kinds of people that carry children. Let me explain to you. There are some people, they hold their children and walk, and you can see their children. So when you see them, you say, oh, how is Alvin and David, the children is holding? They have children. But there are some people that have children, but their children are inside them. It's just a matter of eight more months or nine more months. The children inside will come out. The fact that I don't have the house, I don't have the car, I don't have the job does not mean I'm not successful. I'm carrying it first on my inside. I'm carrying it first work on my inside. Just give me some time. That which is on my inside will what? Come out. If you know who I will be, you better get my number right now. I'm telling you. Because I'm carrying things on my inside. Some of us are carrying banks on our inside. Some of us are carrying real estate on our inside. Some of us are carrying airlines on our inside. Some of us are carrying private jets on our inside. Listen, I may look like you, but I'm carrying something. Oh, glory to God. Oh, my God. I may look like you, but the difference is this. I am carrying some. I'm loaded. Praise God. I'm loaded. Praise God. I'm loaded. Praise God. Just a, fu- uh, just a function of time. What is inside will come out. Oh. When I enter the Uber, the Uber person will like, why are you sitting as if you own the Uber? Because there's something I'm carrying. I, I, I'm not sitting down like other people. I'm carrying something. I enter the bus. They stole an air change. The conductor will start and you say you can hold the change. Your friend wonders that. Uh-uh. Cheating you. He'll be like, because I know I'm carrying something. I, I don't want someone to get my video right now. So that way what I'm carrying manifests. It will not appear. That was part of two hundred there. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm carrying. If you just shout Amen. Praise God. And I'm carrying something. I'm carrying something. Oh, glory to God. I'm carrying something. But the most difficult time of courage is huh, everybody that goes for pregnancy tests and has to show her husband, honey, I'm pregnant. The only time you need paper that you are pregnant is when the pregnancy is not showing. Yes or no? When the pregnancy is showing, do you need paper? The only time that you need word evidence that your success is when it's not showing. So when you keep saying, I'm a, the head, not the tail, I'm the head, not the tail, the only time that is valid is because the headship is not showing. So you have to show them the documents. But as soon as the headship starts showing, no need. You can see for yourself. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Someone says, I'm afraid that I will fail in life. You fail too late. I'm the head, not the tail. I was designed for success. Praise God. Let me show you two more scriptures. Are you ready for this? Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis 1 26. Genesis 1 26. Oh, glory to God. I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above only, not beneath. See what the Bible says. And God said, let us make man in... Let's read together. I want to go. And God said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. And let him have dominion over the fish of the sea. Over the fowl of the air. And over the cattle. And over the earth. And over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. Man is on the image. In the image of God created he. Male and female. Created. Verse 28. Bless them and set... Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over... That is so powerful. Where's my speaker? I have the speaker that I used to listen to God's word, good music, you know. I use it. It's a small speaker. I just carry it around. Praise God. This speaker is produced by JBL. Do you agree with me that it's JBL's responsibility to make sure that if I meet, if I buy this speaker, this speaker produces what they said to do. Yes or no? If it doesn't do that, I will leave VJBL, I will leave VJBL, the company. What? Irresponsible? Bad? Failure? Why? 
the speaker they produce is not able to deliver what they claim it can deliver. If God says that you are made to be fruitful, to multiply, replenish, and dominate, if you are not able to multiply, replenish, and dominate, do you know that makes what God makes? JBL has to make sure this works. If human manufacturers can know that, if God says, I made you to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, to dominate, that means that if I don't do that, I give God a bad name. The reason why is that the same way that JBL had to do everything to make sure this speaker produced, God has done everything to make sure you succeed. Praise God. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm loaded. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm loaded. Success is not what I'm praying for. It's my design. I was designed to be fruitful. I was designed to multiply. I was designed to dominate. Praise God. I said praise God. I said praise God. I said praise God. I said praise God. This is very powerful. Oh wow. So what is success? So someone says, well, you know, I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of failing. You know, some of you are doing so well. Let me show you one scripture. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Are you there? This scripture came to me in my life when myself and people were, you know, I was also dealing with someone. I, I don't know if this, if this has ever happened to you before. When you have a friend that his life is going so well, career is going so well, finance is going so well, and they become very afraid that something will go wrong. Does it happen to you? exactly and this scripture was what showed me that i will never have a better yesterday i will always have a better tomorrow how see what the bible says proverbs chapter proverbs 18 it said the path of the just is what is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day that means i'm not permitted to have a better yesterday oh wow oh wow no matter what you've made, the best is your future. No matter what you've done in ministry, the best is still in your future. Oh wow. This is very powerful. Look at the look at the message translation. The message of TPT, maybe the passion translation. The passion. The passion. Let's read together. I want to go. But the lovers of God work on the highway of light, and their path shines brighter and brighter onto what? until they bring forth what the perfect day my path shines brighter he shines brighter he shines brighter he shines brighter he shines brighter wow okay so what is success what is success hey what is success what is success success is making satisfactory progress that's god's will for you god's will is that every year you're going forward every year you're going forward your business is going forward. Why? The path of the righteous is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. Let me tell you something. Success is that you're making satisfactory progress. It's not that you were here yesterday, we found you here today. No, sir. You're making satisfactory progress. I'm declaring over you that you will make satisfactory progress. I'm declaring over you, you will make satisfactory progress. In your business, you will make satisfactory progress. Oh wow, this is very powerful. Many of you, you've done so well and you want to settle. Be careful, that's not success. Success can become failure if you're not careful. Mm. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. 
Success today, if not improved upon, can become failure tomorrow. Success today, if not improved upon, can become failure tomorrow. You don't want to become the person of I was, I was, I was. Success today, if not improved upon, can become failure. Thank God for wine press. People are like, wow, that was powerful. That was phenomenal. But listen, it's not the next wine press. That's done. Last year, wine press was phenomenal. This year, it was another level. What will happen next year? It's another level. Why? It's from glory to glory. Don't settle down. Ah! It's too early to settle. You are praying 30 minutes. It can go one hour. You have one cell. It can become three cells. Because success is making satisfactory progress. Success can become failure if it's not improved upon. For the past two years, you've been earning just five million. It can get better. Look at Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Micah chapter 2 verse 10 in King James Version. Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Because the temptation is for you to settle. Look at him and say, I will not settle. Look at him and say, I will not settle. Let's read. Want to go? Arise ye and depart. Did you hear that? He said, this is not your rest. You have opened the one store right now for the past four years. Is it not time for expansion? He says, arise and depart. He said, you are tempted to rest here. He said, this is not your rest. A lot of us need to step out of comfort zone. He says, arise and depart. This is not your rest. Ah, Three years ago, you hit 10 million in an, um, per annum. Since three years, we are still, no, 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 no. You can do better. Arise and depart. This is not your rest. This is amazing. God told them, he said, you've gone around this mountain long enough. Go forward. See, some of you are going around the same mountain for a long time. It's time for you to go forward. God's dream, God's dream is that you'll be improving every day. It's God's dream for you. God's dream is that you've been proving every single day. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. God's dream is that you start with one store. You end up with four stores. God's dream is that from one store you go to a mall. God's dream is that from one minute you move to 100 million. That's God's dream for you. From one bedroom flat to one, to one duplex. That's God's dream for you. But the decision is for you not to settle. I see you going farther. I said, I see you going farther. I said, I see you going farther. Glory to God. What is success? Success is making satisfactory progress. Number two, success is not... Comp oh, wow. This is very powerful. Success is not what you have done compared to others. I'll give you a good example. Dr. Miles Moreau, of blessed memory, was sharing a story. He came home with a test, re test result and he got 48%. But it was number one. It was the first in his class. So when he showed to his mom, he said, Mom, I came first. And his mom now said, let me see the test paper, 48. His mom says, you came first, but you still failed. He said, because 48% is 48 over 100 not in comparison with other people the reason why people fail is that they keep comparing themselves with other people you need to compare yourself with what god has called you to do you need to what compare yourself with what god has called you to although it was 48 percent he was the first in the class but he still failed i want to ask you do you even know what god has called you to do do you know what percentage you are in inside the woman with that was a widow, she gave a widow's might and she gave the biggest. So on us who give a thousand and it's not amount to anything because it's not compared to your neighbor's size, it's compared to what God has called you to do. It's what God has called you to do. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. 
when I was in secondary school, I had this classmate, extremely brilliant. I, I don't even want to, he can be watching, I don't want to mention his name. And I remember that results came out in the class and I just saw me was crying. Ah, how can the guy that came first be crying? So I went to look at it. Results came out. He had all A's and one C. I said, what's he said, he said, how can I have one C? Ah. I said, what do you mean? He said, how can I have C? Ah. I felt like saying, my brother, take my report card. Give me your own report card. Because my own report card, it was not many A's like that. But you know why he was sad? Because based on his own assignments, based on his capacity C did not have a place inside it was meant to be all A's the reason why people fail is that they keep comparing themselves to some other people question in terms of your capacity where are you meant to be where are you and that's why for you to succeed it first starts by discovering of your purpose your assignment your capacity your purpose that's where it starts from Some of you, when you get to heaven, you may be surprised you'll get more rewards as a pastor, as an usher. Because all the grace that was given to you was an usher. And you did so well. But there are some pastors that should have been pastoring churches, but they ended up as community pastors. And God says, you had more grace than that. You had more grace than that. So the question is to you, what is success? Success is a completion of my divine assignment and purpose. What is success? The completion of my divine assignment and purpose. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Success is so success is not what you have done compared to others. Success is what you have done compared to why you were created. Success is the fulfillment of purpose and assignment for which you were created. I remember that there was a conference we had. And everybody was blessed and saying good things. And I left the place and I was just weak. And God told me, I told you to go bigger and dream more. It's them you dream small. This small dream happened. He said, the reason why you are not happy is because within you, the mark that was there was not reached. And some of you know what I'm talking about. There's a mark inside you that you'll be like, I've not reached this. It happens in your giving. You will give and everybody will be like, wow. But within you, you know you have not done what God said. Is it not true? Yeah. Because instead of you giving Isaac, you gave Ishmael. Ishmael is wonderful. But what God wants is what? Isaac. And I'm saying that because people settle because nobody sees, nobody sees what God has asked you to do. God says that step up and be a cell leader, be that in church. You say, well, let me be back in cars. You negotiate. Your wife is impressed. Ah, my husband is seven in church. But that was not what God showed you. But you settle down. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. So success starts by discovering of your assignment. Let's pray. Glory to God. Stand on your feet, everyone. Stand on your feet. Lord, help me not to settle. Lord, help me not to settle. Lord, help me not to settle. Go ahead and pray, everyone. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Lord, help me not to settle. 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 
and father we thank you for your word and i pray for everyone here today that you'll help us not to settle in the name of jesus christ we give you praise and glory in jesus name we pray were you blessed look at him and say you will not settle you will keep going until you hit the mark amen god bless you can have your seats